Today we are chatting all about fall's biggest fashion trends and how to wear them. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm picking out my favorite trends for the upcoming fall season and sharing how to wear them. I feel like a lot of these are very wearable. Most of the time when I look at, you know, runways or even like fashion magazines when they're pulling out fall trends, I'm like, that's great, but I would literally never wear that. So today's video is all about how to actually wear the biggest trends in your upcoming fall wardrobe. The first trend that you'll be seeing a lot this upcoming fall and winter is patchwork styles. Now you can find this in jeans where you're mixing both lighter and darker washes of jeans, but I've actually seen it starting to come out in tops as well where you will see more of a mismatched pairing. So one side of the shirt may be a plaid, the other side may be like a different variation or a completely different color combination. It's been very interesting to see how they just basically put like two different shirts together in one, or you'll find the patchwork variation on the top as well, or even in blazers. I saw this as I was browsing on Abercrombie, so I just wanted to give them a little shout out if you like to follow fall trends. I feel like they do a really good job of making them much more wearable. So I definitely saw them kind of pull in a few different trends that I'll be mentioning in this video. And if you're wanting to shop any of these, I'll have different styles linked for you down below. All of those pieces I think are very wearable for the upcoming season. Wearable fall trend number two that you'll be seeing a lot this upcoming season is corset style tops and boning. So if you're wanting to hop on the corset trend, I do feel like this is a little more wearable than I initially anticipated, I guess, as I thought through like, how would I actually make this work? I'm a mom. Um, I don't typically wear like fitted things. Could I make this work in my lifestyle? I mean, maybe not, but maybe for like a style conference or something I have this fall season. How I would wear it if I did want to jump on the corset trend bandwagon is I would probably layer it under a blazer or something like that just to feel a little more comfortable in it and pair it with something, I guess, less dressy on the bottom. So I think pairing it with a jean, you could do something a little baggier, which is more on trend because the fit of the top is a little closer. So you could go with a 90s style jean or a straight leg jean. That's probably how I would find it the most wearable. Of course, you can also make it look great for date night if you want to go all out and just wear it with like a nice fitted pant or leather pant or something like that. The much more wearable way to go about this trend is to look for boning in your tops and even dresses you can find this. And what I mean by boning is you'll see a little symmetrical piping on both sides of the top and that will create more support in your top. Now, this is something I personally will have to be a little more careful with with my body type. I have a very short torso, so a lot of times corsets or things with more defined waistlines like that aren't made for short torsos. They're made for normal torsos. So they can kind of bunch weird on me. So we'll see if I can end up finding something, especially with the boning, because that can typically bunch a little bit more around the waistline. But I think that is definitely a much more wearable way to approach the trend this upcoming fall. Trend number three is leather. Now, I feel like that's not super revolutionary because leather is definitely a fabric that we see year after year come fall season but you can actually look for it this season in more unexpected pairings. So either head to toe leather where someone's, you know, wearing pants, a top and a jacket all in leather, or just different silhouettes that wouldn't necessarily be made in a leather. So more like a slinkier dress, like something that would typically look like a slip dress in a leather material. Lots of leather blazers, which I think is probably the most wearable option and probably something that I could potentially add to my wardrobe. Coordinating pants with blazers has definitely been a trend kind of evolving since 2020 probably. We've seen it in like bright colors. So looking for that in a leather fabric will definitely be more on trend for the upcoming fall 2022. So definitely a very easy wearable trend that you can incorporate in your upcoming fall and winter wardrobe. Trend number four is kind of a minimalistic mentality. So whether that's just going for simple basics, like the basic white tank is an upcoming trend, pairing that with just 
basic jeans, I guess I would call it, just being very simple with your overall look is actually on trend this year, which I think is super wearable. I mean, who doesn't already have a white tank and jeans in their wardrobe? To make it more updated, you could do a straight leg jean or something a little bit baggier, especially if you're going with a fitted tank to balance that out. I think people are returning back to like those classic wardrobe basics and it's on trend this year, which is great because this is one that you could actually invest in, especially Especially if you're looking for those classic pieces like a great white tank top a great pair of jeans even like blazers and things like that those everyday basics are actually on trend so this would be a good time to invest in some of those pieces that may be missing in your wardrobe the next two are kind of completely contrasting trends but they're both on trend somehow this year so the first one is mini skirts and I think this is an evolution of kind of the you know, preppy schoolgirl look that kind of came about in 2020. It came even bigger last year. So it's kind of evolving into like the mini skirt. So you can see these in tweed prints or kind of business inspired prints that you would not wear a mini skirt to. That's kind of what we're seeing this upcoming fall season. And then in contrast to that, another trend is actually longer hemlines, which is definitely one that I will be incorporating in my wardrobe. So think midi skirts are a really wearable trend and I think you'll actually be finding those a little bit longer than the typical midi length. So I've started to see kind of a blend of midi and maxi length styles where it's not a true maxi but not a true midi. Somewhere kind of in the middle so it's a little bit of a longer hemline that you will be seeing on repeat this upcoming fall season and also more dresses with the longer hemlines as well. So Again, midi and maxi length dresses, but also in more bodycon styles will be more of the trendy version of that. So think more fitted bodycon dresses definitely more on trend this upcoming season. This is definitely one that I find very easy and wearable because it was kind of already in my style wardrobe. So when it comes to mini skirts, I love pairing like booties and an oversized sweater with mini skirts. I have a video here on my channel talking about how to tuck in sweaters with mini skirts and little style tips like that. So I'll link that down below. This is an interesting trend and is definitely wearable, but it may not be one that you want to invest in just yet and that is the oversized kind of furry wrap coats and it's interesting because I saw like a fashion magazine call this like the robe life trend so it definitely I can see that because it looks like a warm cozy robe um, and the coats are very oversized especially in the fur material that just emphasizes that oversized look um, but when it comes to coats those are typically more investment pieces in your wardrobe they're typically a little more expensive you should be looking at the materials that they're made out of are they actually going to keep you warm so this is one that you may want to think through if it's something that you want to spend your money on this upcoming season. If you love following color trends, I think that's a really wearable way to stay on trend with your wardrobe. These are the colors that you can expect this upcoming fall season. Now, of course, the ones that stand out to me are definitely the caramel and the olive. Those are both good neutral colors that you can feel confident kind of investing in because they're pieces that aren't necessarily going to go out of style. I feel like they are neutral colors. They just so happen to be more on trend this upcoming season. It's interesting because we typically do see olive but I was kind of surprised to not see like a take on normally like a wine or a burgundy type of color is typically what you can find during the fall season and winter season, but they're kind of been replaced by these punchy, brighter colors. For shoes this upcoming fall season, of course, boots are just like a classic. They aren't going anywhere for the fall and winter season because they are very practical. Um, I know the platform shoes have kind of had their moment like the Chelsea boot but now you can definitely expect to see a lot of platform loafers instead of the Chelsea boot that we've seen or even like the combat boot that we've seen in years past. Now I'm definitely not a platform shoe girl but you can still incorporate this trend just by pairing it with 
a regular loafer instead. I cannot recommend these enough if you're looking for a more classic take on a loafer. They are so comfortable. And what's great about the loafer is you can get a lot of wear out of it because it's great for your work wardrobe, but also looks really chic styled with jeans on the weekend. Another fall shoe that is definitely having its moment is the return of Crocs. I never thought I would see this day coming, but they are definitely making a comeback. I guess for one, they are very practical. And I have even seen kind of more platform style Crocs and clog type of shoes. So that's definitely one that I could see increasing in popularity throughout the fall and winter season. Another fall trend that I am personally really excited about is the oversized button up top. And I have definitely seen this coming about on a lot of the stores that I regularly shop at. And I think this is one of the most wearable but also classic trends that you can hop on, which is why I'm excited about it because I personally have more of a classic kind of everyday style. I'm, I'm definitely not like the street girl girl, you know? I know y'all know that. Um, but the oversized button down is definitely one that I will be wearing. I actually wore an oversized button down in my last video. Did not plan that out. But you can wear these so many ways. You can wear them open. They look really chic if you tuck it in. Kind of Audrey Hepburn style. She actually is the first person that I know that kind of created this type of style where you tuck it in crossed. That kind of pulls in your waistline a little bit more and gives it a more unexpected look. So I definitely plan to add that into my fall wardrobe with a good pair of jeans. I finally found a straight pair of jeans that I love, actually two pairs. I did recently order one from Abercrombie. I'm gonna give them another try for like the millionth time, but I just have not had luck with Abercrombie jeans. But I think I finally learned what it is about them. So I actually ordered a low rise jean. Don't worry, millennials, they're not actually low rise. They are more like a mid rise, but anyway, if you are looking for good straight leg jeans, I will link my favorites down below. And I think this will be a really chic look. You could even do like the loafer with it and just be on trend, but also classy this fall season. Fur is another trend that you'll be seeing. And again, this isn't like a huge surprise because it is more of a cold weather type of material that you typically do see, but you will also be seeing this in, I guess, more unexpected things like even shoes, <laughs> handbags, things like that, um, which could be fun. Or even like a feather would be a, a good way to like incorporate this trend, like a feather bag would be so pretty. I'm actually gonna try to find one now. Um, but definitely look for fur textures, faux fur of course, this upcoming fall season. Now I do not think that it's time for the return of the faux fur jacket that I'm thinking of. Y'all know which one I'm thinking of. This striped chic wish faux fur jacket that probably nearly every millennial had and you wore it with your skinny jeans or even like your plaid flannel underneath. I loved my faux fur coat, but I don't think that's necessarily where this trend is going just yet, but maybe in another 10 years, I'm sure we will be seeing that again. I even saw like fur hoop earrings. So we're just going there this upcoming fall season. Anything fur goes. Faux fur, of course. I have to clarify that on the internet. <laughs> Another wearable trend this fall season is the cargo pant. This isn't one that I necessarily am super excited to jump on because I have a very girly style. It's definitely leaning into more of a masculine look, but you can make it look very chic. I think I saw Kim Kardashian wearing this with like a fitted crop top, and that would definitely help kind of bring some girly energy into the look, um, but the cargo pants style is definitely having its moment again this upcoming fall season. Let me know what you think about these trends down below. Which ones are you excited about and which ones are you running far away from? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Sunday with a new video. Bye!